The RAF and Royal Navy are going to end their search and rescue operations in the UK within the next five years. The service will be totally privatised, ready for the retirement of the military Sea King helicopters. The government's just announced a new plan today after putting a scheme to reform search and rescue on hold earlier this year. James Hurst reports. Search and rescue crews from a number of bases, including RAF Valley, have been in action this weekend off the coast of Wales. A Russian cargo vessel broke in two during storms. One sailor is known to have died, but two others have been pulled safely from the water. And throughout today, the search has continued for five more missing men. Prince William was just one of the service personnel involved in the operation. It is truly life-saving work. One of the survivors who's actually been here in the building uh, told us that uh, it was what he described as an enormous wave that rolled the ship. She broke her back and obviously with such a catastrophic failure, she sank very quickly. But within five years, any similar situation will be dealt with entirely by civilian crews in civilian helicopters. Privately operated search and rescue helicopters already work alongside military ones. By 2016, they will completely replace the RAF and Royal Navy's search and rescue service as the fleet of Sea King helicopters retires. It's a Ministry of Defence decision, you know, that they're going to pull back from, from crewing. I understand why they're doing that. The commitments they have around the world, particularly in Afghanistan, are really heavy at the moment. And as we go forward, we need to have a 21st century Coast Guard service, and that's what these helicopters will provide. This shake-up goes further than the government's previous plan, put on hold at the start of the year, which would have still had some military crews flying in civilian helicopters. Today, Labour says people will want reassurance that a wholly civilian search and rescue service won't compromise safety. The private sector have been running four of my bases for the last 30 years under the previous administration, under the previous Conservative administration. And everybody knows that the, the capacity, the range, the lift and the reliability of those helicopters is much better than the Sea Kings. RAF and Royal Navy bases may still host the new civilian search and rescue teams, with the exception of RAF Bulma. The MOD says it's likely military search and rescue aircrew serving at the time of handover will be redeployed elsewhere. The contract's expected to be signed in just over a year's time, giving up to three more years for the new service to get fully up and running. But it will mark the end of more than 70 years of military search and rescue in the UK. James Hurst, Forces News.